The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody, welcome to another exciting game of the A-Team Challenge. I'm your host today, Robert Van Winkle, and I'm happy to be here again for 2016. The partnership continues between NBC2, the foundation for Lee County Public Schools and Lee County School District. You can watch our games on Comcast Channel 99, and you can also catch them on the internet at www.leeschools.net. The A-Team is in its single elimination competition for 2016. We started off this year with 30 36 high schools, public and private by the way, from six Southwest Florida counties. Moving on to round two is FSW Collegiate Lee, East Lee High School, DeSoto, and Fort Myers. And one of these two fine teams will also be moving on to round two after today. Students, we will um, ask you questions. You'll answer them in the subject of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some general knowledge questions. Here are the rules of the A-Team Challenge. For those of you at home, students have been well briefed on these. First three rounds are worth 5, 10, and 20 points. Students, you're to answer individually in these first three rounds. No help from your team members. On the final exam round, you'll be uh, wagering as a group your uh, score as much as or as little as you wish. And of course, you'll be working with your alternates to get the exam uh, question right at the end. So again, welcome to our schools today. On my right, this is Bishop Vero High School. On my left, this is Moorhaven High School, ready to compete for the A-Team Challenge and move on to round two. Here we go, students, for the first round, each question's worth five points. Put your hands on your buzzers, here we go. The recent movie, The Theory of Everything, is based on the memoirs uh, Alex, Bishop Perot. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, you got that without too much ado there. Five points starts you off, Bishop Perot. I wanted you to name the scientist who wrote the book. Stephen Hawking, five points starts, Bishop Perot. Next question. Which John Steinbeck story tells of immigrant workers, Lenny, Alex, Bishop Perot. The Grapes of Wrath. No, sorry, incorrect. Moorhaven, they tell the migrant workers of Lenny and George. Another Steinbeck uh, novel would be Of Mice and Men, Of Mice and Men. All right, next question for five. Since playing Janet Lee in a movie about Alfred Hitchcock, she has played Alex Bishop Barreau. Scarlett Johansson. Atta boy, you're, you're, you're getting them early this time. I want you to name the actress who also played the Black Widow in the 2015 movie Avengers. Five points uh, for Bishop Barreau. Next for five. In the mid-1800s, the area of the United States known as Indian Territory was bounded on the west by what territory that became a state in Alex Bishop Barreau? Oklahoma Territory. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Moorhaven, the rest of the question, it was bounded on the west by what territory that became a state in 1912 along with its western neighbor, Arizona? Kate, you're in in time. Give me an answer. New Mexico. Correct. Five points for Moorhaven. New Mexico Territory, right answer. We have a math question now, first one of the game. You may look at your screen and start working. Both teams will give you some extra time. Solve for x if 27x minus 29 equals 17x plus 1. And Robert's in. Bishop Barreau. Negative 2.8. No, sorry, Robert, incorrect. Moorhaven, a couple more seconds. Again, the students have uh, the questions on little monitors in front of them and start to work on it. The answer was three. Three. 10x equals 30 is the uh, solution there. All right. Next question for five. What type of paint is made by mixing the pigment with a binder like egg yolk? Kate, Moorhaven. Tempura. That's the right one. Five points for Moorhaven. Good job. Next for five. Many of them grow in damp or wet conditions, especially those that grow on damp or wet parts of the human body. Identify Alex Bishop Barreau. Fungus. Fungus is right. I want you to identify the group of organisms studied by mycologists. Fungus, five points. Bishop Barreau. Attractions in this California location include the Barker Ranch, 
the Furnace Creek Inn, and Scotty's Castle. Its Badwater Basin has the lowest altitude in North America. I want you to name Alex Bishop Aro. Death Valley. Yeah, name the National Park. We're in 1913. The highest surface temperature was ever recorded, over 125 degrees. Five points, Bishop Aro. Next question. Since 1997, when the British gave it back to China, Alex Bishop Aro. Hong Kong. Yep, that's what they gave back to China. Much more of the question there. You got it early. Five points, Bishop Aro. Next question. Abnormal amounts of it are usually unseen by a homeowner. All he knows is when a loud alarm tells him to get his family out. Alex, Bishop Vero. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is correct. Five points, Bishop Vero. Next, one of these objects causes Lyme disease, while another, Alex again, Bishop Vero. Ticks. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Moorhaven, I'll read the rest. While another causes ulcers, and a third one causes food poisoning. Give the general term for this microorganism that can often be killed by an antibiotic like penicillin and has a cell wall, something a virus lacks. I'm looking for bacteria or bacterium. All right, that's all right, no harm, no foul there. Next question for five. The prison in its town of Bialystok was built by the Russian Tsar in 1912. Name this European country once communist, that was the site of Auschwitz, the concentration camp. Alex, Bishop Vero. Poland. Poland is where that is located. That's the country I need. Five points, Bishop Vero. What 20th century French sculptures work include The Walking Man and The Gates of Hell, and they're less famous, though, than his sculpture, The Thinker. Alex, Bishop Vero. Raphael. No, good try, though. Good guess. Moorhaven. Rodan. Okay. All right, next question for five. It usually describes gaseous elements like oxygen when at room temperature. A mole of molecules described by this term has twice the mass of a normal mole of those molecules. Give the adjective for any molecule that contains exactly two atoms, whether of the same element or not. Robert Bishop Vero. Diatonic. Diatonic is correct. Five points, Bishop Vero. All right, and that signals the end of our first round. Bishop Rose pulled out with 40. Moorhaven is on the board with 10 points. We have two more big rounds to go, and we will see the scores change a lot here in the next few minutes. Before we go to our first break, let me introduce you to the players from Bishop Vero High School. Position number one, this is Robert. Robert Voorhees is a senior this year. Would like to head off to the University of Miami and study actuarial science. Robert, good luck to you in the future. Next to Robert is Tiffany, Tiffany Matea. Tiffany is a senior. She's off to the University University of Tampa after school to study forensic science. Welcome, Tiffany. Back row, we have Alex. Alex is no stranger to the buzzer here today. A senior this year, he's headed off to Northwestern after, uh, after high school and uh, has an undecided major as of yet. And rounding out the team is Junko. Junko Nelson is a senior and she wants to head to the University of Southern California and study civil engineering. That sounds Terrific. Good for you. All right, Junko and Alex and Tiffany and Robert under the coaching of Lori Schreiner at Bishop Vero High School. When we come back, I'll introduce you to Moorhaven, and we'll start the 10-point round. Good job, guys. Good start. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the executive director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has, to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out, 
to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. Good game going here today between Bishop Vero High School and Moorhaven High School. Let's introduce you to the players now from Moorhaven. Position number one, this is Kate Perry. Kate is a senior this year. She's headed to the University of Alabama. Would like to get a degree in chemistry and attend medical school. Kate, good luck to you in the future. Next to Kate is Jessie. This is Jessie Espinosa. Jessie is also a senior, and she would like to go to Florida State University and study uh, and have a degree in biology eventually. And Jessie, good luck to you. The back row consists of uh, Brittany and Jermaine. We'll get Brittany first. Brittany Drayton is a senior, and she is going to Florida International University to study uh, education. And uh, Brittany, good luck to you in the future. Finally, rounding out the team is Jermaine. This is Jermaine Riley, a junior, and he'll be going to FGC you hopefully to study chemical engineering. All right, so welcome to Jermaine, Brittany, Jesse, and Kate under the coaching of Norman Sparrow at Moorhaven High School. Students, here we go. 10-point round is on the way. Each question now worth 10. Put your hands on your buzzers and let's see how many we can get in this round. First one, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, and Libya all contain parts of what large, Alex Bishop Vareau? Sahara Desert. Of what large desert the Sahara is correct. Ten points for Bishop Vareau. Next is a math question. You can begin. Look at your screen. A triangle with an area of 150 has a base of length 25. What's the triangle's height? Pretty straightforward math question there. That's good to see. Robert, Bishop Vareau? 12. Yes, sir. You got that right. 12 is the right answer. Ten points, Bishop Vareau. It has more than 100 meanings in English, including to supervise, a period of time as for a stage play and for a machine. Uh, Alex, Bishop Vareau. Act. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Moorhaven, here are a couple of other examples, uh, the meanings. To work properly, give this three-letter word whose other meanings include to campaign for office, to move your legs very fast for a distance, Brittany Moorhaven. Run. Run is the proper response. Ten points, Moorhaven. Next for ten. In 1953, what American couple was executed? Alex Bishop Vareau. Julia and Ethel Rosenberg. Yes, sir. You got that right, and the names, too. Uh, Bishop Vareau, ten points. Good job. They were executed for passing information on to the Soviet Union on how to build a bomb. Next question for ten. It ends, I think of it all tomorrow at Terra. I can stand it then. Alex Bishop Aro. Gone with the Wind. That's the name of the famous novel about Scarlett O'Hara, Gone with the Wind. Ten points, Bishop Aro. Examples of this term in literature include Huck Finn, Katniss Everdeen, and Harry. Alex Bishop Aro. Satire. Nope, sorry, incorrect. A uh, bit more haven. Katniss, Huck Finn, and Harry Potter. I want you to give the literary term for the main character in a story who has most of the action occur to him. Brittany Moorhaven. Protagonist. The protagonist is the right answer. That's worth 10 points. Moorhaven. Next for 10. Its serious types include chronic, postpartum, clinical, and Tiffany Bishop Barreau. Depression. Depression. Manic is one of the other examples I was going to give. Give me the mental condition. 10 points, Bishop Barreau. It was featured in the film American Graffiti and the first episodes of the TV series Happy Days. One of the later verses of this party song talks about the chimes striking at five, six, and seven. Alex, Bishop Vareau. Rock around the clock, Bill Haley. Rock around the clock, Bill Haley. That's right, 10 points, Bishop Vareau. Next for 10, created in 1865 to stamp out counterfeit money. It was moved from the Treasury Department to the Department of Homeland Security after September 11th. Name this federal agency that in 1894 began providing bodyguards to Grover Cleveland, Alex Bishop Vareau. Secret Service. And that's right, the first president that protected from harm. That's the one. Secret Service, 10 points to Bishop Vareau. It must always be specified with respect to a specific axis of rotation, as its value may change depending on that axis. Identify this physics concept, the ratio of torque to angular acceleration and the rational analog of mass that is represented by a capital I, Roman numeral. Robert Bishop Vareau. Impulse. Impulse is what you said? 
Impulse. Impulse. Nope, sorry, I can't take that. Moorhaven? Kate. Inertia. Inertia is the proper response. Good job. Ten points. Moorhaven. Next for ten. He unified his country through wars after being chosen by God as the successor to King Saul. But along with his uh, Germain, Moorhaven. David. David, that's correct. Uh, there was much more to the question I wanted you to name. This king of ancient Israel, David, 10 points, Moorhaven. Good job. Next for 10. One of these, named for Bertrand Russell, asks, if you make a list of lists that do not contain themselves, is your list on that list or not? Give this term used in logic for something that seems to contradict itself. Alex, Bishop Barreau? Oxymoron. No, we're not going to take oxymoron, but somehow it still might be true. Moorhaven. A paradox. Looking for paradox. All right, next question for 10. The sun is about 70% hydrogen ions and 28% ions of what second lightest? Alex, Bishop Verreau. Helium. What second lightest chemical element is helium? 10 points, Bishop Verreau. Next for 10, name the European country where you'd find the Dolomite Mountains. Italy. Italy was the response I needed there. That concludes the 10-point round. Bishop Verreau is pulling ahead at 120. Moorhaven is still alive and well at 50. Our next round is going to be worth 20 points. A lot can change in our 20-point round. Once again, we'll move on to round three coming up in the A-Team Challenge. Bishop Verreau versus Moorhaven. Don't go away. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. All right, 20-point round is now on the A-Team Challenge. Bishop Verreau is certainly ahead of the game at this point, but Moorhaven, again, each question is now worth 20 points. Hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Let's see how this works out. The Duke of Burgundy decides not to marry her after she is disinherited, leaving her to marry the King of France. In the end, her body is carried on stage by her, by her aged father. Name this woman whose lack of flowery speech loses her a third of her father's kingdom and who is the youngest daughter of Shakespeare's King Lear. And Alex, give it a shot. Catherine. Oh, good try, though. That's not the right one. Moorhaven. Cordelia. Cordelia is what I needed. Next question for 20. The letters I and J, when put together, are considered a single letter in this language, whose vocabulary occupies a sort of Alex Bishop Verreau? Arabic. No, sorry, incorrect. Moorhaven. The uh, vocabulary occupies a sort of middle ground between German and English. Name this European language from which Afrikaans is derived, and it's spoken in the Netherlands. Dutch. Dutch is the name of the language. Next for 20. The new Coca-Cola product called Fair Life is created from this substance by removing some of its sugar, adding extra protein and calcium, and doubling its price. Name this common drink whose source will even be treated better by creating a more comfortable life for the cows that produce it. Alex, Bishop Verreau. Milk. Milk. Correct. 20 points, Bishop Verreau. Next for 20. Examples of it include the tongue twister, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Give the literary term, Junko Bishop. Alliteration. Alliteration is what I'm looking for. It begins with many words in the phrase or sentence with the same consonant or sound. Good job. 20 points, Bishop Verreau. Next for 20. The main area of a comet is called by what term that also describes the most important part of both a cell, Germain, more hidden. Nucleus. Say again? The nucleus. Nucleus, thank you. Nice and loud there, bud. Uh, important part of the cell in the atom nucleus is right. 20 points, Moorhaven. Next for 20. 
A deduction reduces your income subject to tax, but one of these reduces your taxes directly. Give this six-letter word that can mean money you've paid but haven't received equal value for yet, but most often refers to the concept of buy now, pay later. Alex, Bishop Verreau. Credit. Credit. That's what I'm looking for. 20 points. Bishop Verreau, good job. Next, near the end of Act 1, its title character kills the leopard that has been bothering his African tribe of apes. Name this Broadway show based on a Disney movie. Uh, Alex, Bishop Verreau. Tarzan. Tarzan, that's right, the Edgar Rice Burroughs character, Tarzan. And you got 20 points, Bishop Verreau. Next for 20, Richard Nixon spent eight years as Dwight Eisenhower's vice president before losing the presidency in 1960. Alex Bishop Verreau. John F. Kennedy. To what Massachusetts Democrat, JFK. 20 points, Bishop. It's hard now to imagine that in his older years, he worked as a customs inspector in New York City and had trouble making a living at writing in spite of his nine novels. Name this 19th century American author, famous today for his works about going to sea that include Robert Bishop Perot. Ernest Hemingway. No, sorry, not Hemingway. That include Moby Dick. Moorhaven. Brittany. Charles Dickens. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Melville. Melville was what I needed there. No problem, no harm, no foul. Next question for 20. The Aleutian Mountain Range is in what large... Alex Bishop Barrow. Alaska. What large and cold U.S. state? Alaska is correct. 20 points, Bishop. Next for 20. This word can follow the variable X to mean the derivative of the function X, the transpose of the matrix X, or the complement of the set of numbers X. Robert Bishop Barrow. Prime. Yeah, give the five-letter word often used as an adjective to describe any number whose factors are itself and one. Prime. 20 points, Bishop Barrow. Next for 20. A uranium decay technique was recently used to date the cave paintings of outlined human hands recently found in this country. Name this Asian nation where the drawings were found on the island of Sul Sulawesi, a country whose capital city is Jakarta. Robert Bishop Verreau. Indonesia. Indonesia. Got to wait all, almost to the end to get that one right. You got it. 20 points. Bishop Verreau. The International Swimming Hall of Fame and the Nick Boletari Tennis Academy are both located in what state? Alex Bishop Barreau. Florida. Right here in Florida, Sun Life Stadium, Tropicana Field, or the Miami Speedway, my other clues. I'm surprised, would have been surprised if we didn't get that. 20 points, Bishop Barreau. Next for 20. Its main character and his wife both survive an attack that results in a stampede of six million people trying to leave London to avoid the heat rays and black smoke brought by invaders from outer space. Name this H.G. Wells, um, Alex Bishop Barreau? The War of the Worlds. Yeah, that's the story that the England was conquered by the Martians. 20 points, Bishop Barreau, you got it. Um, next question for 20. Its characters include teenager Joe McAllister and Army veteran Dale Barbara, who try to figure out how their own town got its current situation and how to get it back to normal. Name this TV series based on a Stephen King novel that is set in the town of Chester's Hill, Maine. Jermaine Moorhaven. Under the Dome. Yeah, a town suddenly cut off from the world. Under the Dome, 20 points. Good job, 20 points right there under the, under the buzzer for Moorhaven. Scores 320 uh, to 90. We have a final exam question coming up next. Students, I want you to make your wagers based on how you think you'll do in the subject of language arts. Language arts is the final category. When we come back, we will announce the winner, have the final exam question. Don't go away. Good job, guys. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a take stock in children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. 
For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. All right, welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. We are in our concluding round here of the match between Bishop Verreau and Moorhaven High Schools. We're going to answer our final exam round here uh, in just a question in a minute, but you might have noticed on the wider shot that we've grown our teams a little bit. So let me introduce you to the alternates on the Bishop Verreau side here. Uh, in the back here is Allie. Allie Frazier, give us a wave so we know which one's which. Allie is a senior. She's headed to Georgetown and uh, would like to study biology. Next to me here is uh, Julia. This is Julia Canzano. Julia is a junior and uh, undecided plans as of yet uh, for high school afterwards. All right, now on the Moorhaven side, two alternates as well. We have Ani Drayton. Ani is a, a senior. She's headed to the USF to study uh, psychology. And in the back, there's Brooks. Brooks Bass is a sophomore, uh, wants to go to the University of Florida and study journalism and law. All right, so here we are with our final exam question in the subject of language arts. We'll put the question on the screen. And this is what the students have been working on. Uh, we want you to uh, answer these questions, A, B, C, and D, fairly simply, straightforward here. What's the orange electronic device that records airplane happenings? What's the thin, salty soup that's made from cubes? I want you to list of references used by authors when they're writing a book and give us the word for an adjective for eyes that are red and swollen. So these are the answers that I need to see here, and uh, the answers are the black box, which we, I think most everybody knows that one, bullion um, or broth, either one, and bibliography and bloodshot. So those are the ones that we want to see. On our screen, we're going to start off, first of all, with Moorhaven. Moorhaven came in with 90 points here. Moorhaven, you got the black box, which is always a good thing, right? Uh, we got broth, and you got uh, bibliography. Didn't get the uh, bloodshot one, so we're going to have to uh, mark it as incorrect, but you only wagered 40 points. That brings you down to 50. On the Bishop Barrow side, we've got the black box, we've got broth, we've got bibliography, bloodshot. Bloodshot was what I needed to see there, and you got it. So Moorhaven didn't wager anything. They had 320, and you'll be moving on to round two. Let's give more, uh, Bishop Barrow, did I say Moorhaven like more than once? For you? Sorry. <laughs> I was looking there and meaning that. Bishop Verro is our winner today. Congratulations to Bishop Verro High School. Give him a round of applause. That wasn't as bad as a Steve Harvey move, was it? No. It wasn't quite as bad as that. All right. Both teams stand up and shake each other's hands. Thanks for watching the A-Team Challenge.